Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, as you guys can read in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this very flat jungle box braids. No, it's jungle braids. I'm like very, very obsessed with them and I'm actually thinking of making this my official summer hairstyle because like you can swim in it and everything and it will just be fine and it only actually takes like two hours to do. But um, since it is my first time doing this on my own hair, like it did take me a long time and I was taking a lot of breaks. That's another topic. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this hairstyle, keep on watching. I got two packages of this expression braiding weave in the color 27 because that's the one that matched me the best but uh, I ended up only using one and a half. I cut it up into a half and then we're gonna separate them into smaller pieces so that we can fix the ends. The easiest way I find to do that is just to put my nails through the hair like so and just drag it out till it gets all tangled and then I just brush out the tangles and then we have ends that we can work with. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and the first thing I do is apply my argan oil serum which is hair protectant. Even when you're drying your hair with a hair dryer, it's really important for you to use a heat protectant and I'm really big on it so you guys are going to see me use this product like a lot of it. After applying the serum, what I do is just separate my hair into four pieces so that it will be easier for me to blow dry it. And I'm just applying a little more of this heat protectant to each piece before I blow dry it and stretch them out using my comb. Now that we have fully stretched out hair, what we're gonna do next is just sectioning off our pieces. This is the most important part and sadly the hardest one to do on your own head and after trying so many methods that did not work out, I actually found one that worked out pretty well and gave me like straight lines, which I will share with you guys in a minute. I use a mixture of two products to slick my hair down and also for it to be easier for me to part it. And those two products are Cantu Styling Gel and also Jojoba Hairdresser Oil. I feel like you can use whatever product slicks your hair the best but these ones are the ones that I chose to use. After making my first section, what I'm gonna do is just separate that into two and that will be two braids for me. Uh, using my products, I'm just flattening it smooth and then I'm just gonna braid it halfway so that it doesn't get tangled again. Okay, here's how I got my straight lines all by myself. I'm holding the comb steady and I'm just moving around my head instead of moving the comb. Like this worked out so well for me, but let me know if you guys try it and how it turns out for you. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what I'm actually using to see what the sections that I'm doing in the back of my head, it is my camera because it's connected to my laptop i'm able to move my laptop whatever i want and still be able to see the back of my head and as you guys can see i'm just doing the same thing all over again and i'm just using my comb to smooth everything down and this section i'm separating it into four braids and if you guys are wondering how i get the straight lines down as well it's just i hold my head very very straight when i make this section like i'm not tilting down which is usually the common problem that we used to have. My third section, I'm making it into six braids and it's going around my head. And also six braids on the fourth section and on the top we only have four. Now we're ready to start braiding and if you guys don't get it the first time it's okay because I'm gonna be showing you guys about two, three times. Now this part is up to preference, I'm just taking out my baby hair so that I can swoop them later. I'm adding more gel to the section and brushing it out so that it's all smooth and here I'm just showing you guys how thick of a hair extension that I'm gonna be using for each braid and as you guys can see it's not that thick because <laughs> I don't really want it to be that thick, I want the natural look. You want to make your three sections from the start. You want to braid one braid and add your hair exactly there, just a small piece. And get your another braid and add another piece there as well.
braid add I'm braiding here and I'm adding so just keep doing that till you get the thickness that you would like and there you have your knotless braid but what you want to do is also tighten up the braids as hard as you can so that you can use them for a longer period of time and you should have something that looks kind of like this so what you want to do is add your gel smooth it out with your brush and start your first braid section out into three make your one braid and add your small extension here braid your second braid put your extension there as well braid again add a little bit of hair and keep going One last time, make your three sections, braid one and add a small piece of hair, braid one again and add your small piece, another one, your small piece, and then again and again and again till you get the thickness that you like and then you can stop and just braid it all out. When you finish with your braiding, you will have like stiff braids that looks kind of like this, but we're not done yet. We're going to dip them in hot water to seal the ends and also to smooth them out so that they don't look very crunchy. So that's what I'm doing right here. But if you want your ends to be curly like this, what I'm using is just a hair clip. Like I don't need any perm rods or anything. I'm just twirling them in a hair clip and then sealing them in place with another hair clip so that they stay in place and I'm just dipping them in water looking like that and then when you take them off later on you will have curly ends and that you guys is how I did my knotless jumbo braids <music> 